I am guilty of underestimating myself and the women around me. I learned so much from the weekend. The most profound is how well we can communicate with others. Oh, I so love you, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Thank you. It's easy. For myself, the most frightening thing for me to do is reach out beyond the people I already know. I look around here, and this is my um, fifth experience here, and I find even each experience that I have here is deeper than the experience before. And I think each time it gets better because I keep getting more and more in touch with myself and, and who I really am, and I take in from the group who all of you are, because all of you are the, the, the same loving beings that I believe I am. Because I am in prison, there is a certain fear of how I will be received or treated, and I think that is widespread in this environment. Today I really spoke, and I brought a lot of feelings out. And I want to know more about who I really am and not what I used to be. On this weekend, I saw women who felt significant. I had a wonderful mother. She raised us to walk in positiveness, and everything that I've ever stepped to she said, can't start in your vocabulary. You can do anything, but you have to do what your heart tells you to do. And I'm, re I'm reclaiming that today. The openness and understanding of worth brought out a certain shine and empowerment in so many eyes. I saw the most shy stand up to speak on their essence and worth. I realized today that I never really forgave myself for the role that I played in our relationship. Uh, Malia, I appreciate you so much because you helped me to see the things that I didn't realize. The unworthiness that I had, the unforgiveness that I thought I had, that I forgave. Um, it just felt good and I really thank you for helping me to see that. I watched the depressed smile. I found out you can't change for somebody. You got to change for yourself. That's right. I hear you. I hear what you're saying. I heard words of strength and encouragement given to others by those I thought possessed an I don't care attitude. I'm so thankful that you made me cry because I was really, really getting worried that, you know, I just wasn't even a person anymore. I keep thinking about this saying. What we need is more people who specialize in the impossible by Theodore Roth. The reason is, I believe many of us incarcerated have fallen into a belief that we can accomplish very little. However, I learned from some wonderful people that nothing is impossible. The great news is that some learned that from me. USM is a wonderful place and I've learned an awful lot there. But I'm telling you the truth, being here for three days is deeper, more healing, and more special to me than anything that I've ever done. We may never know the exact ways in which we touched each other's lives. I know we will never forget the way our life was changed on this weekend. It's amazing. It's incredible. The way you love is a miracle. You lift me up. You walk beside me when I forget. You remind me that I'm a gift just the way I am. Let love lift and help us understand.
what I have to do is break down those walls and break down all the barriers that have been holding me back and just let the love come out of me, you know, just let, let it all out. Because if you don't let it out, it's going to waste, you know, so I'm not going to waste me. I'm not going to waste love. I'm not going to waste life. I'm going to embrace it and I'm going to, I'm going to love it, you know. Shine your light. The real prison is in our mind. I'm free now. It's just geography. It's just a space. The space in here is what matters in my heart. It's not always easy, so use it well. You make a difference. In just the last half hour, I've had more life than I lived out there. But you will never I feel like I'm free, and the prison just doesn't know it yet. And you're a gift, a candle in the dark. It's a very clear demonstration that it's possible under extremely adverse conditions to be more loving, more caring, more connected with one's heart. If it can happen there, what would it be like in any place? I think the thing I love most about the Prison Project is the universality of this work. This is not just something that a few people here and there are doing. As far as I can tell, there's an awakening that's going on on a global level. And I think the more that we can get this quality of work out there for those who are ready to receive it, I don't see how it could help but have a significant effect. Every time we work on ourselves and we resolve one thing, then we have resolved a part of the negativity that affects the entire human family. It's a great work. Shine your light. I walked out the metal detector into what we would call the free world, and the breeze was on my skin, and it felt different than it ever had before. And I knew freedom in a way that I never knew it before. It wasn't just being able to walk outside, but it was having gained an understanding that freedom comes from inside. It's the, the beliefs that you choose to hold, and it's the perceptions that you choose to hold. Shine your light, cause you're beautiful when you shine. Shine your